Here we will see monitor method in thread synchronization. A monitor is a mechanism for ensuring that only one thread at a time may be running in a certain piece of code. A monitor has a lock and only one thread at a time may acquire it. To run in certain blocks of code, a thread must have acquired the monitor. A monitor is always associated with a specific object and cannot be disassociated from or replaced within that object. Some features of monitor class are It is associated with an object on demand. It is an unbound which means that it can be called directly from any context. An instance of the monitor class cannot be created. The methods of the monitor class are all static. Each method is past the synchronized object that controls access to the critical section. Different methods of monitor class are monitor.enter which acquires an exclusive lock on the specified object. This action also marks the beginning of a critical section. Monitor.exit which releases an exclusive lock on the specified object. This action also marks the end of a critical section. Monitor.pulse notifies a thread in the waiting queue of a change in a locked object state. Monitor.wait which releases the lock on an object and blocks the current thread until it reacquires the lock. Monitor.pulse all which notifies all waiting threads of a change in an object state. Monitor.tryenter which attempts to acquire an exclusive lock on the specified object. Difference between lock and monitor is in C sharp, both the lock and monitor class are basically used to ensure that only one thread can access a particular section of a code at a time. The differences between both the classes are a lock statement is a short form of monitor class which internally wraps the methods monitor.enter and monitor.exit with an additional try finally block to perform the thread safe operation. Whereas in case of monitor class, we have to declare the try and finally block explicitly to release the locked object. Apart from the synchronization mechanism, the monitor class provides useful methods like wait, pulse, pulse all for signaling the mechanism between the threads. However, the lock doesn't support the signaling mechanism. And the monitor class is a static class that cannot be instantiated.